Hello, welcome to the lobby, GameSpot's weekly hangar, every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific, right here on GameSpot.com. I'm your host, Daniel Dwyer, joined as ever by Mr. Christopher Waters. Danny, hello. I'm doing great. That's a great t-shirt, man, I gotta said. say. Thank you. Uh, you're up in your t-shirt game a little bit. Thank you. And I appreciate it. I got it. one more t-shirt, confirmed. <laughs> it's cost me $25. You're more than the game will probably Small game. batch t-shirts are expensive yeah. to produce and then ship. It's, oh, that's... Especially if you are shipping bomb. them outside of the, the U.S., as it turns out. Very, yeah. Very difficult. That's something you guys learned the hard way. Yeah. Jeff Gersman from GiantBomb.com. Hello, hi. Uh, and Andy Bauman's here. Oh, what's up? Andy, I How's want to talk going, to you man? about cars. Yeah, I got a car. Project cars. Car. Oh. CD Project Cars. Yeah. It's uh, a, do you what, have a CD player in your car? <laughs> A six changer, baby. Nice. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. In the truck. That is decadent. The only two CDs: Taylor Swift and Beastie Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Real ends in the good, yeah. same okay. spectrum yeah. there. It's yeah. pretty good. Do you have a CD player in yours? Uh, yeah, mine will actually play DVDs, oh. uh, but only when the car is in park, so it's useless. Is there like a wire you can like cut? Yes. The, yeah. There's okay. a there's a box you can install that like you know when you hit the button on the steering wheel you can kind of toggle it to, right. to do it. I, I keep thinking about going that. You route. blow into it and it doesn't yeah, register exactly. the alcohol. Yeah, it's and like, like you're not drunk. You can watch this DVD through in here. Great. Uh, those features are that's one of the many features in uh, Project Cars, a game that came out uh, this week. Watching DVDs. It's not. <laughs> Unfortunately, this week on consoles, ah. last week on PC. Yes, and that was for early access. Unless you're folks. outside the U.S., and then I think it came out everywhere for everyone last week. It's very confusing. Yeah. This is a confusing game. Uh, first encounter of Solid Recon. What does car stand for? Whoa. Uh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> you I, said I it like it. ten minutes uh, before the show. Started. Careening around racing spaces. Cool ass racing enthusiast. Customized. Community assisted That's Project racer Care. simulator. There you go. Yeah, it was. Took the bait. Uh, how much Project Cars have you played, Jeff? Eh, not that much. Right. Not that much. We, we did a little bit of coverage on it, and I, I messed with it a little bit more um, on the PC. And then I've got an Xbox One copy that I keep meaning to check out. Just I'm, I'm curious to see how like it stacks up to Forza on Forza's platform. Is that what you feel like it's like the biggest comparison to? So. Yes, but only in the sense that I am playing it with a gamepad. Right. I mean, obviously, you know, it, it has support. It'll you can go down the rabbit hole with this thing with, you know, track IR support and all that yeah. sort of stuff. If you're like a nut job, but don't buy a racing wheel. You've got a gamepad. <laughs> um, what about that gamepad racing wheel that Microsoft? Oh, the, the wireless like the, yeah. the U Force oh, brought gosh. forward. And yeah. What is that? Like that nightmarish little <laughs> boomerang. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have one of those. It's dumb. Of course uh, you do. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. So, so yeah. From from my perspective, like you know, you can turn on the assists, turn off the assists. You know, it's a similar. Uh, you know, they're they're going for realism. I think they'll they'll go more real than Forza in a lot yeah. of cases. Oh yeah. If you if you want to go down that hole, but for me, the sweet spot is to make this a Forza esque game. Yeah, I wasn't sure because like car games have become so granular in like what's real and what's arcadey. Mm -hmm. Like before it was kind of like this is a simulation game and it's Gran Turismo and then this is like Now it's just like yeah, can, can you launch things out of your car? Is it on fire most of the time? What's going on? <laughs> I, I, or in, in terms of this one, it's like you can do stuff like your like you can check your fuel, like make sure you're like you're taking sure, a certain yeah. amount of fuel and yeah. like change. wear and pit strategies. Like this yeah. thing gets scary fast. Uh, it kind of when they were because this game has been around for a long time and obviously it was this sort of crazy. It kind of felt like. Uh, is it? I always say R Factor. Well, yeah, yeah, R Factor. System. Yeah, like it felt like this sort of uh, community made. We're gonna make the simulator for people who care about ah, cars, okay. like this way. Um, and it kind of does get that way. Uh, I'm playing with a steering wheel at the moment, so I'm having a completely different experience. Right. Than, like, your no, totally. Yeah. You're yeah. playing like I'm, I'm like racing Formula A cars around Spa and like changing gears mm -hmm. is like you know creating wheel spin and it's it's making me like engage with it on that level. Right. Uh, Andy, you're playing on a controller. You're doing the video review um, yeah. at the moment. How are you enjoying it? So I, I'm like what you said about playing it comparatively to Forza. It's mm. like I think. I wanted to see what it would be like on PS4 because I think there's a vacuum for this game. Absolutely, on totally. PS4, like yeah. completely, like Drive Club just dropped it, and yeah. like, so this comes in, fills that that nicely, but it is super race. It's like a race simulator, as it's the name racist. suggests. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> very <laughs> racist. It's like <laughs> didn't get that far. Yeah, so if you want to do a, a weekend that you know Sonoma Raceway, like, and have everything, have a practice round, have a Second practice. Qualify, you know, pull yeah. out of the pit and then like line up and do a race. And man, this game is perfect for that. But it's it's not necessarily about like enjoying driving or like enjoying cars. So 
It's, you think it's, it's not about car passion? It, no, it's it's so yeah. not about car passion. It's 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 funny. It's um, car here's, here's my favorite game. Well, like, well, about I guess car the thing passion, with Forza, like, I guess, is is that it's all been all about the unlocks. Like, it's been about like unraveling this game and like you buy cars and yeah. get new liveries and customize them. Like, you put a whole other engine in a car and well, see, the, see the what happens. Is, like, you know, stuff. like it, it's it's about structure in its its progression and stuff, right? Because like yeah, you yeah. think about Forza. You know, it, it will serve up whatever you want. It'll like if you if you decide you want to take on another car, it's got stuff for that that seems mm -hmm. custom tailored for that. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas Project Cars is just kind of it's a toolbox, right? I mean, you, you, there's there's a progression to the career mode. You can get in there and kind of advance and get from one yeah. tier to the next. And, but even in and that, sign on you, with teams, but it's not. You can start. At yeah, or you can just start at the top. It's yeah. crazy. Like even in uh, that, they're like, you, it doesn't force you to go into carts. Right. You can just yeah, straight yeah. up. Like, I really start like the carts. I yeah, started. Carts a, were, yeah, I started a cool. career mm. in carts, and uh, it took, I was frustrated for a second. But then I felt like the sense of speed was there where it wasn't in like the GT races, mm. like, and it was a lot of fun to like get those down. And then switching back to like a Mustang GT race, I couldn't drive it. Mm. Like it was. It felt like it was going 10 miles an hour, but I was going like 100, and I was just like yeah. all over the track. Yeah. I, I couldn't get it under control. So it's like there's a huge learning curve with Project Cars. And I guess that's my question with any sort of simulation like this that goes on such a such a deep dive and allows to for such a like you know rigorously uh, tested and like this high skill ceiling. You know, learning it, getting past these difficulty markers, learning stuff. That's the satisfaction. That's part of the satisfaction of playing the game. But once you sort of you top out and like you nail a race, like. Yeah. Does it ever sort of ceiling, or you know, or is it like there's always new stuff to do, there's always new challenges to master, and, yeah. and there's always satisfaction to be found? I think that's going to come from the player, you know, and, mm. and what you kind of bring to it. Because I, I think at some point, you know, if you're if you're engaging with this to the fullest, yeah. at some point you have to start asking yourself, why am I not playing iRacing? racing? Right. You know, why am I not going all the way? And, and iRacing, racing, I don't think is as pretty as Project Cars, mm. but mm -hmm. you know, like iRacing racing is for lunatics. Uh, and and you know that stuff is out there if you if you want to go all the way with it and, and project cars I don't think goes quite that far but uh, I think it has a, a wide range of play styles mm. that it, it can support yeah so if you do want to have that gamepad experience uh, that you know it, I think it's it's a totally viable console yeah. game I, I haven't actually seen it on consoles is the performance good I haven't there? seen it on consoles okay, yeah. right. I've been playing PC yeah, yeah PC like PC it looks well. really awesome good. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's a fantastic looking game but. Uh, yeah, totally. Like that's the the PS4 thing is especially apt because I think because who cares about drive clothes? Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think what well, you're saying, Chris, like it's so it is really deep. So like you can spend all your time learning one car, right? Yeah. And then you race it, and then there's like a lot of tracks. You have to know the tracks. So then you have to learn the tracks, and then it's like, okay, then you can start tuning the car. You like wanna you know switch your tire pressure a little bit, switch the ride height a little bit to you're like, oh, that one corner gives me trouble. I gotta stabilize my car. Stiffen it out, you know, get around mm -hmm. there, and then you can you can even go so far into like, okay, I need less fuel for this race, so at the end of the race I'll be lighter than the guy next to me, so we're neck and neck and I pull ahead. It's like that's so crazy, and, like, and it's, I, like, all that stuff is open as well, so yeah, it's not you like can just do it if you the want. thing I didn't like, I guess, with Forza games or especially with Horizon, I guess, and maybe yeah, that's not a like. fair comparison, is that you're unlocking everything. And what I'd always liked about say, I, I play a lot of the F1 games, mm -hmm. and I just like going in, picking a, like a combination of stuff that I'm into, and just like spending two hours playing that. Yeah. So like yeah. this seems like really well structured for that. So, yeah, I mean Horizon's like a, a different kind of game. I mean that's yeah, you know, at that point you know that might as well be Need for Speed or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, but it's different. So oh yeah, no, it's, it's, it's so much better than Need for Speed. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Horizon Two, the European stuff, I thought was not as cool as Horizon. Like we we uh, are your your hatred of Europe is well story, Jeff. Yeah. No, totally. Uh, have any of you guys played online? Well, we uh, did. I tried a little bit. And, <laughs> Does that count? Uh, you know, it was it, so. I mean, <laughs> you know. Uh, it was a game that had uh, like forced cockpit view, Great. no Ooh, assistance, yeah. any of other stuff. So it's like three practice sessions. Just like, four hit, hit, hit the gas, spin out, just torque out, torque out. <laughs> ah, crap! Uh, yeah. uh, and then I quit the online session yeah. shortly after that. Apparently, so, yeah, the was, online is where I guess that's kind of where the eye racing stuff comes in as well. Like that's where the real competitive nature is. Sure, yeah. Because um, the AI in this yeah, kind of weird. seems real dumb in a way that I kind of appreciate because the like battling the car seems to be. Where the difficulties oh, at? Sure. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah, like I almost like get a satisfaction from just racing kind of dumb AI. Like mm -hmm. I've been playing it up to like eighty about of a hundred, 
Uh, oh, that's pretty high. To the point yeah. where like I'll spin out, but then I'll know I'll actually probably catch up with them again. It's not like mm, because sure, there's no yeah. replays. Right. Yeah. So you're back it to rewinds, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it, it's a game for a very specific type of person. I think it, as much as it, you, know, like you can you can adjust it to be more Forza like and, and yeah. even maybe a little bit easier than, than Forza can get. Uh, but yeah, it, it is still kind of unforgiving in some ways. That like I think on consoles where people are used to things like rewind and yeah. you know like Need for Speed games and stuff like that, they might just look at this and go like, ah, this is too much for me. Mm. But uh, yeah, it's it's cool. A uh, quick look up on Giant Bomb. Yeah, cool. And uh, the review will be up on Gamespot. If it's not up. Well, now the review it'll be text up in the next is probably going live any minute. Pretty soon. Because we're behind on this one, but uh, we'll do a video review today. Yeah, should be up today or tomorrow. Yeah. Right, awesome.